What's up chefs, Monty Channel here. We're gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to create a template to quickly knock out your video. So I'm actually gonna do this in ScreenFlow. I created what I call a Web Video Chefs tutorial template. I'm gonna open it up here. And the reason why I use ScreenFlow is because it really doesn't take any time to render your video. So this is a tutorial that actually my partner Chip Dizarre made. And I just created this little template. So it has his tutorial, it has our logo build, which is, I use it as our out cue. And then it has this template that we use for YouTube because YouTube allows you to create um, links at the end of your video. So this is just a template that I use and I'll show you how that works at the end of this video, all right? So this is a template. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this now and I'm gonna bring in, let's see here, go to, let, I'll just open the file this way. All right, this is the tutorial, so I'll just bring it in here. Let's bring it in here. All right, so you see there's no, it doesn't render at all with ScreenFlow, it just brings the file in. And then I'll just slap this on the end. All right now, a few things I'll notice here is that his audio was a little bit hot. How do I know that? Because it's peaking in the red here. So you see the green areas is where the signal is good and then it over modulates a little bit so it's in the red. So I'll let you listen to that real quick. And that kind of looks unnatural because you know. All right, it doesn't really sound bad. So we'll just go ahead and click on there, click on the track. We'll go to this audio icon here and we'll bring the levels down to about there, all right? The thing I'll do is we'll trim the beginnings and ends of this clip, so we'll go right to the end. I'm gonna expand a little bit by hitting the plus key. Close it right together. Hope this helps. Hope this helps. This is out cue. All right. I'm just going to close this gap here. Just click on it, hit delete. Go to the beginning and do the same thing. Hey, I just. All right, not really too much of a, a, a intro to, to trim off the beginning. We'll just tighten this up just a little bit here. Hey, I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to eliminate a jump cut. Uh, the new feature in Final Cut Pro 10.0.3 where you can eliminate a jump cut. Now, the caveat of... All right, so that is it. And it is that easy, all right? So then it goes to the end of the video. That are dissimilar, but since they're standing in the same area and it just flows it right together. Hope this helps. Then to export it, you go to file. You can either export it, um, you can upload it to YouTube too. Select the range here. Just hit I and it will select the range. You can upload it a couple ways. You can publish to YouTube or else you can export the selected range. I'll just go ahead and export it and then we'll upload it afterwards. So I'll just leave it here. I'll leave these settings, Final Cut. I'll leave this name the same. We will export it to that folder. You can see the settings are already there. It's 720. Just hit export. Oh, we will cancel that and put final here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and export this. And if you um, watch the next video in this sequence, I will show you how to upload it to YouTube and then we'll show you how to add to the end where you put the links using the YouTube template. All right. Hope this helps. Monty Shell Web Video Chefs. Ask us a question at ask at webvideochefs.com. Subscribe and uh, go to our website and subscribe to our email list where you will get some free swag. All right. Peace.